this out. Like that, and that's giving us another four. That's brilliant. So that's one, two, three, and let's stick one up here. Four. So as that runs through, this is going to fill up. Jobs are done. Alright, okay. So there we go. There we go. We have ourselves an automated uh, item produ production system, which I can just walk away from. It will just happen. All right, so we start off with lava and water, which goes through to gravel, through to sand, through to dust. That all goes down here and goes through the sifters. These these crates here are uh, these chests here are sorting system this is a packager goes through to this furnace and up to the barrels upstairs and there we go because of this I just don't actually have to worry about resources anymore I can just come here and pick them up as I need them and I am rather happy about that I gotta be honest with you Whoops. The system I had, which I just broke there. Like that, like that, and it's going to be easier to put a barrel there without something trying to feed into it. So, there we go. Hello, Andy Ray Sim. Uh, oh, ten people on. Hey, hey. I'm, I'm really glad. I was, I was worried that nobody was going to come along because it's a new location and everyone here is going to be um off oh actually there's something i want to try here let me try something one sec Right. If everyone could vote, that'd be really nice. Oh, there's loads and loads of other things I can do uh, here, but uh... <laughs> it's so much better, isn't it? Um, there's so much more I can do here. This is just a start, but quite frankly, this is so much better than what we had. You know, if you think when you start off playing Agrarian Skies, you've got to, you know, um, make the cobble out of a, um, a, a, an old school cobble gen and, and hammer it and hammer it and hammer it and sift it, and it's all got to be done by hand. You know, while I, I did this poll... Uh, congratulations to the person who said no. It's nice to know there is at least one idiot. You know, we've got to have an idiot in the audience, and it's normally me. I've got to be honest with you. It was a poll about a poll. It was a self-referential poll, which is great. Right, let's let's make uh, let's just make a little bit more stuff here. Let's just get last few chests in place so that. Uh, We know that uh, we've got some space because then I can worry, walk away from that and just not worry about it for a bit. So that'll be good for me. Like that. Let's put this away. There we go. That's another three. And those three can sit on the end there. And the conveyor system can just fill those up as it finds use for them. There we go, just got another piece of gold. Excellent. So, this is now going to become my crafting area, my, my crafting base. So I'm going to start moving all the crafting stuff and putting it in down here. But uh, I can do that off camera, because what I want to do now is I want to have a look at the quests. Yep. Yeah. It's the Terry Patchett Tribute Quest. Uh, uh, let's have a quick look through the quests. 
this is the one I want to do this afternoon, okay? I want to make all this stuff here. And then I'm going to start making um, a proper smeltery. But uh, this would be a good one to start doing soon because I can just about make ender pearls. Uh, I haven't killed zombies in forever. And I can't do the rest, so let's back away from that for a sec. Uh, what are we doing on the bees and trees? Okay, so we've made a bee elizer, we've made a tree elizer, we've made some honey drops. It's oh, I've, I don't have any honey drops on me, so let's go and let's go and pick up some honey drops. Let's get that quest done. And do I have any? No, where's my honey drops? There's bees. Oh, I know where I put my honey drops. I'm going to get rid of all this junk and get things organized. It's going to be great. I tell you, great. Ha 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 ha. Uh, where? Oh, where on earth is my bee elizer and tree elizer? Where did I put them? I could swear I left them there. Did I put them in here? No, did I put them in here? No. Huh. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to make those again. That's going to be rather annoying. What about over here? Did I leave them over here by any chance? Not there. And not there. No. Oh dear. Sing out if you see a bee elizer and a tree elizer, guys, because I really actually quite need those at this point. Uh... Oh no. Because I hit the man. Okay, look. Because I hit the manual detect button here, they've taken them out of my inventory. So we need to make some honey drops, which we can do quite easily. Where's the centrifuge? There's the centrifuge. Right, so we'll set the centrifuge up here. And we'll feed it some honey. Let's tell it about the honey. Yummy. Like that. And then all we need to do is wire it up. And hope there's enough power in this generator. There we go, that's working. So how much of this do we need? Only one honey drop. Okay, we will definitely do that. There we go, and... Oh, do we have any tropical hives? Marshy hive, tropical... Right, we have tropical hives. So let's get the reward bag. Claim reward. Right, so we get the bee elizer and tree elizer back. Uh, we get a forest princess and a forest drone, a quarter of a heart, and a reward bag. And quite frankly, of that lot, all I was really interested in was the reward bag. So let's get rid of some stuff here. Let's put this stuff in. I mean, admittedly, they're pristine, so they're pretty good. Um, just get some junk out of my inventory, I think. Don't need that. Don't need that and that. Okay, that's good. That's a bit better. Let's find out what's in this reward bag, shall we? Anybody love your car? I loved your car. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. 64 dirt. I got 64 dirt from that quest. And that's supposed to be a nice reward? Okay, I'll put it with all the other dirt I've been making recently. So there we go. I've got 18 snacks of it now instead of 17. <laughs> Yay! Right, let's see what quests that's opened up. The breeding and production. 16 honeycomb. I can probably do that. Genetic manipulation. That is going to be interesting. I'd have to look into that first, I think. Automation. And alvearies. I don't want to do any of that, actually, but... Uh, Let's see if I've got enough 
uh, honeycomb to do that one. Use all that up in there. It's taking a little while to get used to the little scuttling sound behind me. But I do love my luggage. I think my luggage is so cute. Uh, let's put a meadow drone in there. There we go. Hey, incidentally, that is still the only flower I have found on this server so far. Okay, uh, I'm actually at the point of wanting to make an automated uh, grass farm where I just bone meal, uh, automatically bone meal stuff, uh, just to see if it will work. So bees and trees. Open. How much do I need? 16, so I haven't quite got enough of that, so we'll put that away for now. We'll probably come back to that at the end of this. But on the right side, got enough of these now to make a heart, which we should use. 15 lives! Oh, actually thinking about that. Where are they? not in there there they are miniature red hearts I've got two of these miniature red hearts and I believe I can uh, I can make these things here red heart containers oh necrotic bones I don't think I can make those yet I'm almost ready to make this stuff. I need to find out how to make necrotic bones. But I can make these containers. Uh, a jeweled apple is actually fairly easy to make now. And I've got the miniature red hearts. So all I need to do is get the necrotic bones, which I believe you can get off of wither skeletons. So looks like I'm going to need to learn to make them. Need tea to maintain my Britishness. Well, if you could make me some as well, that'd be absolutely spiffing, don't you know? Right. Oh, I so need to sort this stuff out, but I cannot be bothered right now. Okay. Where are we? Alright, I was putting that beer away. That's where we are. Alright, so we'll put that beer away. Great. Different genome need to actually go and start researching through these and find out what's the good stuff and what's the not so good stuff but that is actually a time I'm gonna do another episode on beekeeping later on when I actually get it a bit more organized hello Rory Sims my mum keeps throwing away our tea bags that's 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 absolutely absolutely disgusting if you don't you, you mind me saying so Ah, good lord. You hear that? That's that's Queen Victoria rotating in her grave. Look at this, we've almost filled this up now. Look, we got we got tin ingots here, we got copper ingots here. Are any of these? Yeah, those are copper. Let's take those out. Put them in there. And those are tin. So we'll put those in there. So now these will always be tin and copper. It will always go in there. These will fill up as they do. I'm really, really happy with this, guys. This is working so well. All right, let's have a loaded baked potato to celebrate. Yeah, um, I've got one emerald block there. I don't think I've got enough diamonds yet, but diamond blocks will be coming up here as soon as they get packaged. All we need to do is just get enough stuff in here to go through the packager and I think actually we are bottlenecking a little bit. Which I might actually be able to get around by removing this connection here and just have, okay, I, I, I'll, I'll work on this, I'll see where we're going with this. I have no idea. Uh, last time it went that bad, my internet uh, went that bad, was because 
um, there had been an accident in the village and the, the junction got, box got destroyed. But, uh, I mean, I had no idea if that was the cause and they were repairing it, but it was just, just went up and down and up and down and up and down and up. And it was really frustrating, to be totally honest with you. Right, so that's done. Now, what I want to do this time round is... I want to do this I'm smelting quest. And in order to do that, I need to make all these bits and pieces here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually... Uh, put all this together into an actual smeltery and I've never done it before so it's going to be amusing to see what happens here so a seared tank is the first one now let's look it up seared bit of glass, seared brick around it and you can make that by grout and grout is sand, gravel and clay or like that to make eight of them um, that is probably actually the better recipe to be honest with you but uh, Okay, well we we can get sand and gravel easily. Clay we can get slightly less easily. I haven't automated it, but we can make tons of the stuff in no time at all. So let's do that, shall we? Right, one, two. And one and two. So go and pick up that uh, dust I had earlier on. Put it in here? No, I think I'll put it in here actually. There you go, dust. He is the Kudats Hadrak. I don't know what you be talking about. There's nothing like having a tourist for the barbecue. They be delicious. Okay, so one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Actually, while I got you guys here, who watched Na who um, watched my series Snatch to Gal? And if you did, what did you think about it? You know, did you like? I mean, not only did you like the story, did you like the idea I had of uh, asking for likes? And did you like the fact that uh, I did so much of it so fast? Did you like the last episode? Um, do let me know what you think, because I really want to know what you guys think about that, to be honest with you. I'm going to be totally honest, I had so much fun making it. Fun. Nope. One of them. There we go. Right, right. And... Excellent. I'm really glad that people are liking that, because... There. Yeah. What that sound? Oh, okay. All right, never mind. Right, that's giving us a load of clay blocks. Let's make some lumps of clay out of that lot. Right, like this. So what do you guys think of the vampires? You know, Adrian, Luca. You know, who 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 liked who for what reason? There, that's load of that. Ha ha! I picked it up before you. Actually, what are you carrying about? Bucket of water. I have that. Thank you very much. Right, so that's given us loads of clay. Now we need some gravel and some sand to make the grout. Didn't need to go down, did I? So used to working down the bottom there. I now need to get used used to working up here. It's gonna be it's gonna be quite a while before I get used to it, to be honest. I think so. 
let's just get that recipe again seared brick is grout and grout is gravel sand and clay and let's get some sand there we go plenty of sand actually what I'm thinking about let's get some gravel as well and build this up as much as possible I get the feeling we're going to be using a lot of this stuff so I might as well just make a ton of it now to be honest with you there we go right and that's given us plenty of grout let's put that stuff back Uh, sand in there and gravel in there there we go right and uh, let's get that grout cooking should really move the, move the furnaces over but I haven't yet all right so, okay so let's get some of this stuff working put that in there and that lot in there and half of that in there half of that in there and I'm really wondering what that sound is uh, there we go let's get rid of that yes it is perfectly okay to think that to be totally honest with you because quite frankly they were i mean okay they were both a bit uh emo and sad and that but uh well i think also there is the fact that uh they did set the hearts of flutter of many of the viewers ha 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 I am Lord Adrian. Love me. Yeah. We got any? Oh, there's one. What did I get off of that? I got a red spruce sapling. I think I need to change some of these trees up because I'm just getting the same stuff again and again and again now. Oh, there's one. A mundane larch sapling. A mundane larch sapling. Now there's one I've not seen before. And I've learned how to recognize many types of trees from quite a long way away. Where's my tree Eliza? It does like oh there it is, okay, right. And I'm gonna need some honey. Uh yeah, okay, some honey drops. Tell them about the honey. Right, so we'll put that in there and mundane larch. Okay, so It's not very sappy. Its yield is very low. Its girth is one by one. Fruits. Uh, no, so we're going to get apples from it. So it looks like all it's really going to do is grow wood. So I tell you what. I told you I was getting a little bit bored with all the stuff that was coming from here. So let's get rid of one of these trees. And I think of the lot of them, let's get rid of this middle oak. Alright, so, where's my axe? Here's my axe. So we'll get rid of this oak tree. And we shall plant in its place. An apple oak. No, we shall plant in its place a mundane larch and find out what we get for it. Like that, there we go. 